in this problem we have a region bounded by these graphs and we have to rotate it about the y-axis. After we do that, we're going to find the volume of the resulting solid using something called the shell method. So the first thing we should do is graph the region. So note that x cubed looks something like this if you graph it by itself. y equals 0 is a horizontal line and would look something like this. And x equals 3 is a vertical line at 3 and would look something like this. So let's attempt to put all of these together into one graph down here. So we'll have something like this. And then here's 3, maybe. And so we have this region here, and then this is y equals 0. So we have this region, and we're spinning it about the y-axis. And this here is the x-axis. So when we're using the shell method and we draw our rectangle, our rectangle should always be parallel to the axis of revolution. So our rectangle will look something like this. In the shell method, there are two important things to identify, h and p. Because we have a vertical rectangle, we have functions of x. h is the height of the rectangle, so h of x, as seen in this picture, would be the height. p of x is the distance from the axis of revolution to the skinny part of the rectangle, so that would be our little p. It's always really, really important to draw h and p and the rectangle and the graph in the problem. This lets you identify everything very nicely. So h of x is simply going to be x cubed because this graph here is x cubed. So h of x is equal to x cubed. And then p of x is just going to be x. So p of x is equal to x because uh, this distance is just x. No matter where you put the rectangle, that distance is x. And x will vary uh, from 0 to 3. So the volume is equal to 2 pi. Remember, shell has the 2 pi. And we're going from 0 to 3. And the formula is pH. So it'll be x times x cubed dx. So this is equal to 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 3. Now what we can do is we can multiply these x's and add the exponents. That will give us x to the fourth dx. Now we're finally in a position to integrate. We'll use the power rule. So this will be 2 pi. Add 1 to the 4. That will give us x to the 5 over 5. And then we're going from 0 to 3. Good stuff. So this is 2 pi over 5, x to the fifth. And we're going from 0 to 3. Just rewrote it there. Put the 5 uh, on the outside. So first we plug in the 3. So we have 2 pi over 5. Plug in the 3, you get 3 to the 5th. Subtract. Plug in the 0, you get 0 to the 5th. So 3 to the 5th is 243. So times 2, it's going to be 486. So this will be 486 pi over 5. And that would be the volume of the solid of revolution. That's it.